Hey guys, Ifdo here, and today I'm back with an all new Mod Spotlight video. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the Bibliocraft mod, which adds a number of furniture items, such as chairs, tables, potion racks, and item shelves, all of which can be used to improve the look of your latest Minecraft build. Okay, so as a way of showing you all of these new features, I'm going to be giving you a quick house tour here. Now the interior of this house has been filled with Bibliocraft features, so we're giving you a quick look around, have a look at all of these new features, how they can be implemented, how good they look, and how you can actually craft them as well, which is obviously important if you plan on using this mod in survival. So let's jump straight into things here with the bookshelves. Now bookshelves are of course a uh, vanilla feature, but the Bibliocraft mod takes them to a different level. Now when you spawn using creative, you'll actually be provided with some actual books. Now these are fully fledged stories, which you can read through. They're all, they're all different as well. There's plenty of different ones on here. And the, the important thing really though, is that these bookshelves can be interacted with. You can place the books wherever you want, and the place that you choose to place them in, I guess, it actually represents that visually. They won't all just go into a specific place. You can really move them around so I can have it so that there's more on the bottom shelf here. And you'll see that that's been represented quite well. In terms of crafting, the crafting recipes in this mod I would say are pretty good. For me, a good mod will make predictable crafting recipes. A, a crafting recipe that looks right when you've made it and is therefore memorable or memorable for the future. So this one, I would say definitely so. You can see that that's kind of making a bookshelf if you kind of think about it in a crafting, in a crafting table kind of way. You actually got your shelves and your panels on the side. It all makes a lot of sense. Certain mods actually fall down in that respect, that they make crafting recipes that are seemingly overly complicated for no reason. But I feel like this one does a very good, uh, a very good attempt at keeping it grounded, and uh, it it makes sense, which is which is what's important. We also have animated clocks. Now these again, just like the bookshelves, can be made into different types of wood. So say we had uh, different wood types here. We had spruce. You would see that in the bookshelves, and you would see the same in the clock. Now the animation on the pendulum, I think, is actually very well done. It's very slick, very surprising actually. I was expecting that to be quite jittery, but it's a very smooth transition. This one is crafted like so, using a clock making it make sense. Uh, there's uh, a little bit of gold there, which, yeah, again, makes sense. A good craft, again, a little bit of customization can be done there. And what is actually very impressive about this is if you do slash time set day, or you just change the time of day, you'll notice the clock will change, like so. Now this is of course means that the clock will show your Minecraft time, not your actual time. Either way though, it's a very good feature, a very nice addition. Moving on, we have chairs and tables. Now I feel like this could have been in Minecraft for a very long time, but uh, they haven't really yet implemented it. Of course you could use stairs to kind of make chairs and such like, but this is a far better alternative. If you right click into the chair, you can actually sit down in it, where you can see your plate of food. The food that you put onto the plate can be uh, your choice. I've gone for a bit of a, a classic uh, pork and uh, veg here, but you can put whatever you like on there. Of course, it, it does have to be a food item. Uh, cakes, I don't think work on there, but everything else does perfectly fine. You can even have golden apples for dinner if you like. It's really up to you. In terms of additional foods, we also have cookie jars. And this has to be one of my favorite features Depending on the number of cookies, you can actually see how it's visualized in the jar. It's just an awesome feature. I love the fact that it doesn't really need to be a feature, but the modder has added it in as a little bonus. As a little something that really didn't, like I say, it was, I would have been perfectly happy with this mod had that not been a feature, but its addition just makes it a whole lot better. So let's look at some crafting recipes onto the plates. These use quartz slabs here, and the cookie jar uses, the redstone is, uh, doesn't make much sense, but uh, the rest of it does. Or looks pretty good. Fairly cheap, I guess, but uh, you probably only be wanting one of these. We also have the chairs and tables. Now the table is crafted like so, and if you you'll see if you put them together, the legs will actually separate. The same works for the chairs if they're put close enough together. Now you actually make the chairs in several different components. First, you just make the seat on its own, just this bit, this bit here, and then the backs of the chairs. That's up to you. You can make different variations using a different amount of materials. They kind of develop from one another, so you start with this one, then you add in the sticks to get a slightly longer back to it. And then again, you can go even further with more sticks to get slightly further again, a little bit more back to your chair. And then you can go up to the 
fourth tier here, and there is actually one more which I'll be showing you upstairs. Moving on, we have a couple of uh, additional items on the downstairs compartment. The CD rack is one of my favourite features by far. It does represent exactly where the, the uh, CDs are placed, so as you can see I moved them all to one end there. I quite like to have them mixed up a little bit, I think it looks a little bit better that way. These are crafted like so, using sticks kind of as your placeholders, and the planks as the uh, stands. It doesn't matter which planks you use, it will always look the same on this one. And then you've also got these little uh, compartments. Now these are for extra special items that you want to show off, your display cases. You need to shift click to open them, and then you just click or right click normally to pull out your item, or put it in, whichever you prefer, whichever you're doing at the time, I guess. This is a nice way just to show off those extra exclusive items, your never stars, maybe an emerald if it's your only one, maybe a diamond or two. A really nice feature there, and that can be crafted like so. Again, it's a really nice predictable recipe, which is nice to see. Moving upstairs, we have quite the selection of potions, which I'll be going on to in a second. But before that, we do have armor stands and sword stands. Now, you may be wondering, why would a mod add the armor stand when the armor stand has already been added? This mod is older than armor stands. It's been adding armor stands since before Mojang started adding armor stands and is arguably the inspiration for vanilla armor stands. Now this looks pretty much identical, it's uh, very very similar. You can choose the colour of the stand or the wood type using uh, different stand uh, variants, so wood slab variants. And the sword, I, I would love to see this added to vanilla just as the uh, stand has. This is made like so, and the bottom of the, uh, the pedestal, that can be altered, the colour at least, by using different wool types. So if I had a white wool there, I'd get one that looks like this red wool will add a little red trim to it. So here are potion stands. Now these are, again, I've, I've, got, a I've got a lot of features that I really love in this uh, mod. And this is one of those as well. It just, it just looks fantastic. This is a 1.12 mod at the moment. It will of course be updated if you're watching this in the future. But uh, what that does mean is that you've got the lingering potions and all your splash potions can go on here as well. You can't put dragon breath on here yet but any other type of potion will look perfectly fine. Same goes for a water potion, or water bottles, you can put them on there too. They look very nice and uh, shiny, which I really love about uh, that particular feature. In here we have the, uh, the framed chest. Now you may have noticed throughout this uh, mod spotlight so far, I have been using a different type of chest. Now these are slightly different, of course, than your regular ones. You just choose the wood type that you prefer, and you put a label of the same wood type in the middle. The labels are made like this, and that just creates that uh, nice looking chest. And it will choose an item that is in the chest to represent the front of the chest, so you know what's in your chests, which is very nice. We also have shells. Now, unlike the potion stands, which can only hold potions, the shells can hold any items. Now, I've just chosen a selection of lucrative items, a little bit of diamond, a little bit of gold, some ender pearls as well. That's really up to you what you put on them. You can make them a lot bigger than this one. You can have them going right up the wall if you prefer. Personally, I just like to have a, a, a little one here just to make it look quite cozy. It goes well with the build. But that's really up to you, that one. Now here we have the other type of chair. And this can be shown here. So you craft it similarly to the other ones. You need to first craft the like, fourth tier level of back and then add some oak slabs to just further fancy it up. And of course you can sit in the chair again. Now you can also craft desks. Now if you select the desk, you can choose which books you have where. So you can have four on that side and one on that side. Or we can even out a little bit more. Let's actually go for an extra one on that side. Now the book that you choose to go in the middle can actually be read. I know, that's amazing. Just by clicking onto it. And then you can flick through the book and read it at your leisure. Now I didn't actually realise that to begin with, and when I clicked on the book I was just pretty amazed. I mean, again, it's one of those small features that didn't really need it to be added, but its addition just makes it so much better. Again, we've got the bookshelves again, you can mix them up however you like. The desk is crafted like so. I believe there should actually be a torch there as well. You will need, 100% sure you need a torch in that top left corner to add on to that one. And then you've actually got the lights here as well. You've probably noticed them scattered throughout the build. A couple of different lights throughout. You can add them like so, or you can add them against the wall, which I think is best represented in here as a little bit of a nightlight. 
and I, they look very nice as well. I would love to see something like that added into vanilla. Moving out here, we can look at the recipes for the brewing um, stands, or not brewing stands, but the brewing uh, shelves, I guess, our potion shelves. They are crafted like so. Again, using a glass bottle makes it memorable. It's uh, very predictable, very nice to see. And the shelves are crafted again in a very similar manner, but slightly different. Nice and memorable, easy to use and uh, replicate in a future build. And one last feature we have here, these are tool stands. So just as we've had our shelves and our potion stands, we now have ability to put our own tools up onto display as well. Especially useful if you have some really nice tools you want to show off, or you just don't want to keep them in chests and you want to have them somewhere nice and accessible. These can be made like so, and you can again mix up the wood type as you please. I hope you enjoy using this mod. This is a really nice one for me. I, I really love interior design in terms of Minecraft builds. So for me, this is a must have. For you, it may not be, but I hope that you'll enjoy it nonetheless. It's a very good mod that I, I reckon could go well with pretty much any build. There's a, a lot of variation with this one. You don't have to go with a modern design. I've gone for somewhat of a modern rustic ish design here with the house but it's really up to you however you choose to do it that's the kind of the key message of this mod it's, it's very customizable and it's really your decision where you go and how you use it i hope you enjoyed this mod next monday we'll be looking at a game of thrones inspired mod ahead of the season 7 premiere if you do enjoy the bibliocraft mod please share this video with a friend so that they too can enjoy this great mod thanks for watching